on December 25, 2021. NASA launched the most powerful telescope ever made. But before we launch into the video, Welcome to the channel of Cloud Boss. The James Webb Space Telescope was launched on a 1.5 million kilometers journey through space. The largest space telescope of its kind and the most powerful ever sent out into the cosmos, Webb is on a mission to explore the farthest corners of the universe. There is no recent event in space and astronomy that comes close in hype to the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope. After a wait that seemed like an eternity and tortured people in the scientific community, the new and powerful space telescope has made its way to its location, where it will use its large lens to capture mind-blowing images of the universe. Some of the pictures will be the much-acclaimed Big Bang, giving scientists their best chance ever to understand the great event that started it all. The James Webb Space Telescope cost $10 billion and consumed countless person hours. It is also the most complex and powerful space telescope ever built by humans. So, expectations are high for this brand new eye in deep space. Few space missions have taxed NASA and the whole space scientific community as the James Webb Telescope. With a cost that ended up being 10 times the original budget, and multiple delays, including the new cancellation of the program by the Senate, everybody involved breathed a half sigh of relief, if there is ever anything like that. Everything about the JWST was complex, yet the team launching it had only one shot at getting it right. This was because it would be situated where it was impossible to send a repair mission, one million miles away from the Earth, at a place known as the Lagrange 2 point. The JWST improves on Hubble in two key ways. The first is the sheer size. While the Hubble was about the size of a school bus, the JWST is more like the size of a tennis court. It is so enormous that it is by far the biggest telescope NASA's ever attempted to send into space. But the size is not the only improvement here that matters. When you are building a reflecting telescope, the key component is the size of its curved mirror. The telescope mirror is like a light bucket. The more light you can collect in your bucket, the fainter and farther away things you can see in the universe. Hubble's mirror was an impressive 7.8 feet in diameter. JWST, however, surpasses that with its beautiful, gold-hued mirrors that combined form a diameter of 21.3 feet. Overall, that gives the JWST more than six times the light-collecting area of the Hubble. The JWST has other advantages, making it more powerful than the Hubble. The entire telescope has a mass of around 6,200 kilograms. This is about the same as an African bush elephant. It includes a 6.5-meter diameter mirror which collects light from space. JWST's huge mirror is made of 18 hexagonal segments. These unfolded and adjusted in space to form one large mirror. JWST also has a tennis court-sized sun shield. This stops light from the sun and reflected off the earth and moon from heating up its detectors. The detectors must be kept at a cool minus 266 degrees Celsius to work. JWST has been built to look back in time to the early universe. What did the first stars and galaxies look like? How do stars and galaxies evolve? Do planets like Earth orbit other stars? Can we learn anything about dark matter and dark energy? Over the course of its mission, five and a half to ten years, the JWST will collect data to help scientists answer these questions. And probably many more. Where will the JSWT observe from? It will take the telescope around 29 days to get reach its destination, 1,500,000 kilometers from Earth at Lagrange Point 2, also called L2. This distance is a special location that lets JWST stay in line with the Earth as it moves around the Sun. However, it also means it is too far away to be easily repaired if something goes wrong. It is much further from the Earth than the Hubble Space Telescope. 
The Sun and the Earth's gravitational pull will stop the telescope from moving around too much. Only small infrequent rocket thrusts are needed to maintain its orbit at L2. This L2 point also means that the JWST will keep up with the Earth as it orbits the Sun. There are several Lagrange points. L2 has been chosen because it has the Earth, Moon and Sun behind it, which makes it the perfect dark sky to observe from. L1 offers excellent views of our Sun and is where the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory SOHO, satellite is sighted. L2 is close to Earth which is great for communications for course corrections and limited fixes. L3 is very far away and is always hidden from us by our Sun, so we may never find a use for it. L4 and L5 are also great sites, except they are very far from Earth, so L2 is the favorite. On January 8, 2022, the Webb team fully deployed the telescope's 21-foot, gold-coated primary mirror, successfully completing the final stage of all major spacecraft deployments to prepare for science operations. The successful completion of all of the Webb Space Telescope's deployments is historic, said Gregory L. Robinson, Webb Program Director at NASA Headquarters. This is the first time a NASA-led mission has ever attempted to complete a complex sequence to unfold an observatory in space, a remarkable feat for our team, NASA, and the world. On January 24, 2022, the mission team fired Webb's thrusters and inserted the space telescope into orbit around the Sun at the second Lagrange point, or L2, its final destination, nearly one million miles from Earth. Webb, welcome home, said NASA Administrator Bill Nelson. Congratulations to the team for all of their hard work ensuring Webb's safe arrival at L2 today. We're one step closer to uncovering the mysteries of the universe. And I can't wait to see Webb's first new views of the universe this summer. This amazing telescope has not only spread its wings, but it has now opened its eyes, Lee Feinberg, the Webb Optical Telescope Element Manager at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland, said during a news conference. Webb's location will give it a wide view of the cosmos, and will keep the telescope's optics and scientific instruments cold enough to function and perform optimal science. JWST is not intended to be serviced in space. A crewed mission to repair or upgrade the observatory, as was done for Hubble, would not currently be possible, and according to NASA Associate Administrator Thomas Servichin, despite best efforts, an unmanned remote mission was found to be beyond current technology at the time JWST was designed. During the long JWST testing period, NASA officials referred to the idea of a servicing mission, but no plans were announced. Since the successful launch, NASA have stated that limited accommodation was made to facilitate future servicing missions, if any. This included, precise guidance markers in the form of crosses on the surface of JWST, for use by remote servicing missions, as well as refillable fuel tanks, removable heat protectors, and accessible attachment points. Kudos to the launch team because due to the flawlessness of the process, the service life of the space telescope has been extended. Previously, NASA expected the fuel in the telescope to last about 10 years. But thanks to the efficiency of the LAL. You have made it to the end of the video, please comment your thoughts on this multi-billion dollars project and remember to support the channel by liking the video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload more bangers. Kudos and thanks for watching.